This information video about hair loss is for young children and tells the story of Anna who loses her hair while having treatment for cancer. Anna lives with her mum, dad and their little puppy Charlie. She loves pretending to be a superhero. Anna has been feeling poorly for a while. Her mum and dad take her to see a doctor who says that Anna has a brain tumour which is a type of cancer. The doctor says he will help Anna feel better by trying to make the tumour go away. To do this, Anna needs to have treatment. The doctor says treatment can make the cancer go away, but it can also make her hair fall out. Anna is sad about this because she loves her long hair. The doctor says this happens to lots of children and hair almost always grows back. He says it will help if Anna talks with a health play specialist called Penny. In the hospital waiting room, a boy called Jack starts to play with her. He says he is also having treatment for cancer and is going to lose his hair too. Penny told him all about it. Hi Anna, my name is Penny. Penny explains that Anna's hair will start to fall out about two weeks after starting treatment. Sometimes there may be some patches of hair left. Anna's eyelashes and eyebrows may also fall out. Penny says that if Anna has her hair cut short, it might help her get used to having less hair. This means a trip to the hairdressers. Penny turns the hospital playroom into a hair salon and Anna has fun pretending to be a hairdresser. Anna feels better after talking to Penny about losing her hair. Penny says some children like to have pretend hair to wear, called a wig. Anna can put it on and take it off whenever she wants and choose the one she likes best. Some children like to wear hats or headscarves to help keep their heads warm. Penny also says that when treatment ends, her hair will start to grow back. Sometimes it can be a different shade of colour or even curly. Anna has always wanted curly hair. The next day, Anna has her hair cut short. It feels different at first, but she quickly gets used to it. Anna has lots of fun trying on all of the different wigs. Then she chooses one for herself. Soon it's time for Anna to start treatment. Her superhero cape helps her feel super strong. Anna sees Jack again at the hospital. Hi Jack, I like your hat, says Anna. Jack replies, thanks, Dad took me shopping to choose a hat for when my hair starts to fall out. I love it so much that I'm wearing it already. During treatment, Anna meets a girl called Laura whose hair has already fallen out. What does it feel like when your hair falls out? Does it hurt? It felt strange at first, but it didn't hurt at all. I soon got used to having no hair and I feel exactly the same as before. I wear a wig, but I also like to wear my sparkly hat too. A couple of weeks later, Anna's hair starts to fall out. She finds lots of hair on her pillow and hairbrush. Her hair starts to become thinner and her eyebrows and eyelashes fall out too. She was expecting this to happen, so she feels okay. The skin on her head feels smooth and warm. Anna's dad likes to stroke and kiss her head which tickles. Sometimes Anna's head feels dry and itchy, so her mum puts cream on to make it feel better. When Anna goes back to hospital, she sees that her friend Jack has lost his hair too. Anna always wears her superhero cape to hospital and Laura wears her red roller skates which makes everyone smile. A few months later, Anna's hair starts to grow back. It is quite thin, but she's sure it will thicken after a few weeks. Anna likes her new hair as it is very soft and even a little bit curly. And she still loves pretending to be a superhero too.